Patterning can be a great way to embellish a design. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to use the Pattern Area tool to create a concrete stippling pattern for the curtain wall detail. Continuing in the Elevation Details DGN file, let's make the Match Pattern Attribute tool active. Next, let's issue a data point on the concrete pattern in the middle of the curtain wall at footing 2 detail to match the attributes. Along the ribbon, from the pattern group of the annotate tab, let's go ahead now and select the pattern area tool. Pattern area lets you pattern an area by repeating a cell definition at defined intervals. The values that you enter in the scale, row spacing, and column spacing fields determine the number of times the cell placement is repeated in a designated area. In the tool settings window, we're going to confirm the following options that our method is set to element. Our pattern, this should be set to concrete 2, the scale 0 0.2, and drop pattern, this should be enabled. Coming down into the view, at the curtain wall at footing 1, let's go ahead and issue a data point on the construction shape element. Then we're going to snap to the lower right corner of the detail and issue a data point. Back in the tool settings window, let's change the value of scale to 0 0.3. At the curtain wall at footing 1, let's issue a data point on the construction shape element, and then snap to the lower right corner of the detail and issue another data point. At this point, we are finished hatching and patterning these details, so now we just need to turn off the constructions. So, let's open up the View Attributes dialog. From here, we'll toggle off the constructions, During this lesson, you learned how to pattern. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.